Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Today we're going to kick off with problem number two and this is basically based on the centroid calculation of a Z section. And you can clearly see that this Z section is essentially a combination of three rectangles. Well, two of them horizontal and one vertical which in fact is sandwiched between the two. Now let me show you what the dimensions are. Here we go. And let's have the coordinate axis, right? Now let me let me mark these rectangles. Let's say this is rectangle number one. Let's say this is rectangle number two, and let's say this over here represents rectangle three. Now the first step is to calculate their individual areas. How, well, how can that be done? Well, that's pretty easy. As far as rectangle one is concerned, its length and breadth are twenty and five. Twenty cross five is pretty simple. That's hundred. Note that the dimensions. Uh, is always in centimeters. Okay, if it's area, it's centimeter square, and if it's linear dimension, it's centimeters. That's all. Secondly, we have this rectangle over here. PC with the mouse is hovering. This over here. So it has a width of 2.5 and a length of how much? Little that that initially has to be seen. Okay, let me make this. Okay, this distance is nothing but from this point to this point, it's 20, and from this point to this point, it's 5. So 20 minus 5 is 15. So 15 multiplied by 2.5 is the area of this rectangle 2. If I can just use a calculator, 15 multiplied by 2.5. Well, let's see how much it works out as. Um, 15 multiplied by 2.5, and that's 37.5. Here we go. 37.5. And finally, we have this. 10 multiplied by 2.5. Well, this is obviously going to work out as 25. So we are done with area calculation. Now let's proceed and try to figure out what the corresponding values of x1, x2, and x3 are. Okay, and as far as this particular rectangle is concerned, its center, its individual center, will be somewhere here. For x, for this rectangle two, it will be somewhere here, and for rectangle three, it will be somewhere here. And if I were to calculate the value of x1, x1 is this distance. Okay, that's x1. And let's see how much this x1 works out as. Okay, now for that, guys, you need to focus this distance over here. Let me tell you, this overall from here to here it's twenty. So, from the center, this distance has got to be ten. Now, the only thing left is to calculate this distance, and once you get that, you just need to add ten to it. Okay, so that you can have the value of x one, and this is also pretty simple. Let me show you why, because this distance can be clearly seen here. This is ten. And this is 2.5. So 10 minus 2.5 is 7.5. So essentially, if I were to calculate the value of x1, it's 7.5 plus 10. So that's 17.5. That's it. Let me write it over here. That's 17.5. Done. What's next? Okay. Okay. So if you watch carefully, that's x2. Let me write it over here. That's x2. Now, guys, this much distance. Please see how much this distance is. This distance is nothing but half of two. Two point five divided by two, and this is precisely two point five divided by two is one point two five. Okay, and if I were to calculate the value of x two, it will be from here to here. That is ten minus this one point two five. So, ten minus one point two five will work out as eight point seven five. So, the value of x two is nothing. But 8.75 centimeters. Now, in the same manner, you can get the value of this x3. Here it is. That's x3, and x3 is pretty simple. It's absolutely half of 10. Half of 10 is nothing but 5. Okay, so we've got the values of x coordinates. Now we're going to go ahead and calculate the value of y1, y2, y3. Here we go. So it's something like this. Um, that's it. I don't know whether you guys are able to see this. That's this over here. Is y1, which is going to be half of this five. Half of five, we know very well, is 2.5. So let me write 2.5 over here. That's it. Now what we'll do is, this is the centroid, and with respect to this x, that's y2. Okay. So this is y2, and how much is this? And for that, what needs to be done is, this calculation has to be done. Okay. How much is this? That's 15. So half of 15 is obviously 7.5, and 7.5 plus this much distance. 
that's how much plus 5 7.5 plus this much that is 5 is 12.5 so y2 works out as 12.5 okay finally we have to deal with this y3 so that's y3 and that's pretty easy um, it's, it's going to be well this is how much that's the total distance from here till we reach here that's how much that's 20 so you just need to add this distance this much distance to 20 okay so this distance is nothing but 2.5 divided by 2 which is going to work out as 1.25 if I'm not wrong yeah so that's 20 plus 1.25 so 20 plus 1.25 will give you 21.25 right that's 21.25 the value of phi 3 and then guys you just need to put in all the values of a1 a2 a3 and x1 x2 x3 into this very famous formula okay of centroid calculation and you're going to get the value of the centroid um, x coordinate of the centroid as 13.55 centimeters and in the same manner what you need to do is you need to put the values of a1 y1 a2 y3 a2 y2 and a3 y3 okay from this table into this um, formula and you're going to get the value of yc as let me see how much it works out as it works out as 7.69 centimeters approximately okay so that's done so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification, you get an update. Well, needless to say, I'm going to be back with more such videos on mechanics and a whole lot of other topics also. Okay. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day. Keep learning. Enjoy. Thank you.